I'll accept that. I'll accept that. I'll accept that. I'll accept that. Coming about, sir. Oh, yeah, I'm coming about. I'm finally getting over this hangover. We've got to stop this Astro. If we can get there before the chief of Kambuki retaliates, there's still a chance to stop this. Ugh. And as Captain Fathom heads for the island of... It is now continually so turning left. Up, chief? We must bomb and invade Pieti at once. Oh boy. Why bother? I don't like to do these sort of things. I mean, if you really want to fling poop, I guess, but whatever. I'm glad they figured out some German for them to say. Man, this must be House of Cards Season 8. This is a private war, Captain. There is no need for you to get involved. On the contrary, Senora Pizastro, there's every reason in the world for our trying to keep the peace. I the do not understand me, amigo. I, Easy, you know, because I'm simplistic. That's the way you drew me. Could affect all the free nations of the world. And then the Suppose mites in my beard will come out and eat you. With and some other country decides to help Kambuki. Now I am more certain than ever. Vietnam will be happening here and not in Vietnam. When I spoke to you, Jose. If I say you go to these war, you will go to these war. But I am an unconscious objector. Okay, that's You're cute. You're going to be unconscious, Jose. Just keep giving my husband trouble. Yeah. Anyway, President, yep. for the sake of peace in the this world, is definitely House of Cards season you eight. And Kambuki to conduct a war. Well, shit just got you bombed. Appear, my dear Capitan, that you can no longer stop the war. It just happened. Caramba. That the Jose just oh, pooped himself. No, those idiots. Why couldn't they wait? So they have no torpedoes, but they got a cannon. What can Captain Fathom do to prevent certain disasters? Uh, a lot of things. Again and again, Captain um, Rudolph von give up. shells the little island. Play baseball. And Mrs. Pizastro gives an order. Yeah, Monticello is okay. really to falling the apart. Station. We are under attack. Just because you give the order doesn't mean I'll carry them out. Since when does it Yeah, I don't listen to no woman. To this is the you 60s. Feminism are... barely been invented yet. It is true, my love. At the time, it seemed like a good idea. And we needed an admiral. And my but lips are floating everywhere. The joint chief of staff. So? 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 I am so? Jose to the battle stations. So. And right now. Underlay, peasant! Damn! The chief of Kambuki and Rudolf von Messerschmidt plan the invasion. Ah, uh, come on! We'll just throw M and M's at him and see what happens. Work, Captain. I mean, really? There are only four of us. We cannot. Well, there's only three people on that island. I think you got him beat. But first, we open them up with a few more for sugar and shells. I really got to go, man. Nine. We could be maimed severely if they are not supplied. I don't like this idea at all. It is a stunken idea. I heard that, Dumka. I heard that. Sorry, mein Herr. I be too, Herr Captain. Uh huh. Whatever. Oh, this is dumb. So Why can't I go home and watch the Real Housewives of whatever island? Commence firing, Jose. Do something, or I'll take one of these hoop I'm earrings and kill you with it. We got no powder. We got no bullets. Oh, we got powder. Someone just dropped the ball. All we got is the what for? Whatever that is. Men that also. Excuses, excuses. I oh, can't stand I men. Excuses. Is that the only weapon you've got, President? Hey, you don't stand a chance of defending this island with that thing. We do have a top secret weapon, senor. However, it's not it really so recommended. Friendly. I hesitate to mention it. At this point, President, I don't think you have a choice. Well, first my what wife has to secret? get on the island it buck is naked. A secret and deadly guided missile, Senor Fathom. A missile? You have a guided missile? See, si. Pieti is not as old-fashioned as many people think. Well, let's not just stand <laughs> here, <laughs> He looks so stoned. There's still a chance we can save your island. I don't know if I want to save it. Well, it looks like a makeshift job to me, Presidente. How does it work? Atomic power? Dynamite? Oh, oh no! no Weed! We use Jose power. Okay, I'll bite. What exactly is Jose power? Now, Jose... Can you see by the dawn's early light? Okay, then what? A 
Jose is shot from the top of the palace here, okay? Wow. Jose in Just the diesel wow. next to the enemy submarine. Whew. He opens the hatch. He I feel dirty the watching this. With his drill and makes a hole. Now into this hole, he puts a stick of dynamite. He lights the dynamite and the war is over. Uh-huh. Clever no? Yep, President you've definitely been reading uh, Art of War. I'll tell you that the much there, President. I've never heard of in all my life. I thought you might like it, amigo. It's so great. Just there like me. There's only one thing wrong with the missile program, however. Only one thing. What's that, my friend? Jose is not going up in that thing. Why did you have to or dig a hole to get to the, the roof? I told you this before me, President. That you have, Jose. That you have. Hey, Skipper. It looks like those fellas are getting set to invade. Oh, yeah, set to invade. It's like we cowboys and Indians. Man, Hold guy. down. All we can do is advise and try to stop this mess. Jose, she's got the idea, me Presidente. Anything, Jose. What's your idea? Why we not shoot the secret missile at these gringos, and maybe it really? will scare them away. You know, that just might do the wow, trick. Wow, once in a while they come up with an idea. I guess Broken Watch is bright My twice wife, a day. Senor. She's the only one who knows the operation of the secret missile. And I am ready, my husband. To sacrifice okay. all the men of the island so that I may live. Ah, since it was my idea, I will go get you a match, Madam President. Gaudi, get Skipper. Get the crew aboard the Argo and take her out to Then sea. get me a large tumbler of scotch. I really need it. Come with us? No, I've got to see this thing through. I'm going down to the island, I guess. Later, the Argonaut cruises away from the island. And on the palace wall, Jose is about to launch the top secret... Thank you, Narrator Exposition. All right, Jose. One for the dinero. Right. Two for the show. Three to make ready and... So, oh, oh, go on. I bet you have. Back to the wall. Yep. Some war. If we give those guys enough time, they'll blow themselves right out of the water. Again, just one of the smartest things ever said in this cartoon. You don't think we could just declare a major victory and go back to Kambuki, huh? That is not the way it is done. No, it we must go in and retaliate and do things and then throw them bratwurst. Just doesn't seem right to me somehow. Huh? I really got the runs. I'm sure to go. Pizastro corners Jose. You did that on purpose, Jose. You could have destroyed all of us. You have ruined the top of our palace. Uh, yes, you clearly the palace. To the shark. An accident, Senora Pizastro. I don't know what drugs are. Hey, Who are you? If you're Mr. McFeely, you have really gone downhill. Speedy you delivery! What would you advise? I suggest you sue for peace, Senor Presidente. Maybe we can negotiate an honorable settlement. Of something, I me. suppose. I, like I don't understand you crazy okay. foreigners. You are a ninny gumboop. So is your husband. Uh, okay, that's actually Presidente, funny, too. I have an idea. Could make this skirmish an international conflict, but uh, uh, sure. I think under the circumstances, it's worth a try. Anything I'm grinning because I'm still high as shit. Well, let's get to your radio. We've got to contact the Argo. And shortly thereafter, Miss Perkins aboard the mighty Argonaut receives a message. Remember, whatever you do, don't hurt him. Hammer, don't hurt him. Just a bluff. I read you, Captain. We're on. Our We're gonna recreate the Bay of Pigs. It'll what be hot George shit. Begin firing at us, Miss Perkins. Right. We'd be sitting ducks. And if I die, I'd be really upset because I didn't see boobies. The captain's given us an order. All ahead full run. Yes, sir. I hate everybody. New bearing 105 degrees. I just hope the skipper's bluff works. I don't know. I don't remember anything after 1875. to advance against the palace. I still think this is a mistake, Captain. Shut up! I'm the German! I know everything! necessary for this invasion. This will be a schnapp. Look, mein Herr. They're on the wall. <laughs> it is Captain Fadim here, Captain. Hello, Captain Fadim. I love you. Who's here? And you are a schweinhund. What is the matter with you? 
I don't know. I've written many slash fix with him and I. It's quite erotic. Unless you people surrender immediately, we'll sink your boat and destroy you. I knew it. Hot we damn, I'm dead. Nothing, mein Herr Phantom. You have no weapons. Now we demand I hear no evil, see no evil, Perhaps speak no evil. Surrender, Captain. He is correct. Look behind you, Captain. Again, we ask you to surrender. What do you say now? Kimmel, it is the super submarine. I don't know about you guys. I go but everything. That's good enough for me. Let's give up. If they sink the under the sea boat, Herr Captain, we shall be stuck in here forever. Forever. Oh, jeez, my sideburns are very confused and scared. You guys win! We give up! What do we do now? Come into the palace! Come into the palace, we'll strip naked, there. and prepare for we a cavity shirt. That's what you All do. Right, boys, let's go! Surrender! We're done! And within a few minutes, the war comes to an end. All right, now that you two have signed a peace treaty, there's no need for any further conflict. I congratulate you both on using your hands. Oh, yeah, uh, really. Uh -huh. I never wanted a war in the first place, Presidente. I originally came over to sign our annual peace treaty. I don't know why we have to sign it every year. Oh, God, amigo chief. I too wish to sign the peace treaty. Oh, jeez. Like then why How did about you getting some bridge work done? Senor chief. An accident. But then Captain Rudolph decided to Rudolph. Hold that man. Wait a Where minute. Where is that scoundrel? They're making a run for it. You had the these guys surrender and, and yet you didn't the capture them? Look at them go. Yeah, look at them go, all right. Why did you not tell us they were escaping? You did not order me to keep watch. I only do what I am ordered to do. Then I hereby order you to go into the dungeon and, rot. and lock yourself up. Sorry, but those kind of orders I will not obey. You will obey if I tell my husband. So tell him I still do not obey. Uh, <laughs> say it was your fault they escaped. I feel huh? so I wrong. So dirty. So you go to the dungeon? Is your I don't husband? know. Arrest him, husband. Oh, please end this. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you, Gillette, for shaving all of the dignity out of this cartoon. Special effects, my boy. Nothing special about this was... It wasn't worse. Thank you, Dick Brown, for being Dick Brown. Dun, dun, da, dum, 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 da, dum. Holy God. This was bad. I don't know where I could start and where I should end. I just... Wow. <laughs> I, it's just the worst thing I've seen in a long time because of how racist it is and everything else. But then again, this was a sign of the times, not really anything else just generally accepted. I mean, if you really want to see patently offensive, just watch old school 1940s Bugs Bunny cartoons. Bugs Bunny's in blackface, calling Japanese people some of the most racist things on the planet. Yeah, it's pretty bad. In comparison, this is mild. This only makes them look like all foreigners are um, incompetent. But still a learning curve for everybody because, you know, I mean, it's shocking these sort of things actually occurred and were widely accepted. But, like I say, you know, this is almost, wow, 50 years ago. So, it's amazing what is changed in the lifespan of cartoons. I mean, Tom and Jerry used to be extremely violent. Well, they still are. But now you can't even physically showing somebody smacking somebody. It has to be, there has to be a bright flash before it actually happens. Well, I hope you enjoyed the uh, little lecture that you just had. Uh, hopefully next time it'll be something funnier. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So until next time, boys and girls, toodles. I'll accept that.